Hello everyone, welcome to Snacky Bones Food Review. Today I'm going to be trying some more Filipino foods. I have here some pickled mango that I brought, bought from Seafood City, as well as some pickled guava that I bought from that store. Really good Fil Filipino store, Seafood City. One's near you, please check it out. I apologize if you hear some scratching in the background. That's uh, my cat Brittany, my her in some of my videos, and she's just playing right now. And um, I don't really want to disturb her from that because she does need the exercise. So anyway, along with these uh, pickled fruits, I'm also going to be trying some chippy chips made by Jack and Jill. Apparently, these are popular in the Philippines. So they're corn chips, and this brand is pretty common over there. So probably be pretty good. But let's first try, which one are we gonna do? Pickled guava or pickled mango? Let's do the pickled mango. All right, so mango is the national fruit of the Philippines. I don't really know why it is the national fruit of the Philippines. I do know that they produce a lot of mangoes over there. Although the highest producer of mangoes is India. And uh, that's where mangoes were, were first cultivated and grown in the wild uh, was in India, northeastern India, where they originated. But um, the mangoes are a, a, a very big crop over there. Um, and this uh, pickled mango, you can eat it by, by itself, um, from what I read, and it's supposed to be pretty good. But it also goes really good with... Uh, as like a, a side to some fish, you know, like a white fish or, um, or some meat. And you can make it into like a nice little salsa. But I'm gonna try it by itself today. Can't have it as a, an appetizer. Jesus Christ. A, can't even open a jar. This kid can fuck up a coffee, cup of coffee, as they say. Okay, so. Smells pretty spicy. Kind of smells like, um, doesn't smell sweet like a mango. I mostly smell the vinegar. Kind of like a spicy pickled egg. And I don't like pickled eggs, so I hope it tastes like mango because I'm not a pickled egg guy. But this obviously isn't pickled egg, so I don't think it'll taste like that. All right, let's, let's try it. It's nice. Doesn't taste like a pickled egg at all. Because why would it? But it's very spicy. Definitely tastes the chili powder or some sort of chili extract that they put in there. Still's got that sweetness from the mango. Not incredibly sweet, a little bit more sour. So I think this is probably picked when the mango was, was quite young and uh, hadn't fully riped, but I like that. I'm having another one because it is quite good and I'd also like to taste more of it, so. really good. It's not, I don't even know if they used vinegar, you know, to pickle this or if it's some sort of brine. Let's see. I, I, yeah, they don't, they don't use vinegar. I was going to say, I don't taste any vinegar. Um, cause that would really overwhelm the flavor. So no vinegar taste at all. That wouldn't be good. This is really good. It smells like vinegar, which is weird, but 
Uh, it's just, it's very nice, spicy and sweet, uh, a mix of spicy and sweet. Um, and I, I definitely know what people mean with that this would really go well with a side of whitefish, some tilapia, piece of cod, any whitefish would be really good with this, or even some salmon too. Um, I think this would really go excellent with some fish as well as pair well with other uh, with meat dishes. Really like it. I'm definitely going to enjoy this and buy more of this and I will try this as a side. I mean, guys, maybe I'll let you know how it does, how it pairs with different, uh, with different dishes, but very, very good. Pickled mango, uh, and it's produced by Sang Kutsa Foods, product of Philippines. Here is the label. That's good. All right, so I'm gonna cleanse my palate. And try some guava, pickled guava. Now, unlike mangoes, guavas are actually not. Oh, Brittany. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Ugh. I hope you didn't have to see your butt. It's kind of gross. Um, what was I saying? Pickled guavas did not originate from Asia. Pickled guavas are. Guavas actually originated in Central and South America, um, but they are mostly cultivated now in Asia. And actually the top five producer, producers of guava are Asian countries. So it's a very um, popular fruit, not only in the Philippines, but in India and China, uh, as well as Thailand and Pakistan. I like, um, I like guava, but I kind of have to be in the mood for it. Like mangoes, I can pretty much eat any time of day um, or night. And, you know, I won't be dissatisfied with the mango. Sometimes um, I really just not in the mood for guava. So I don't, I'm not sure if I'll like this as much as the pickled mango, but that was really good. And that really did surprise me how good that was. So. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised by this. Okay, so like uh, the pickled mango, I, I really smell vinegar. But I don't think that they're using... Okay, okay, this one they are using vinegar. So I'm not going crazy. I think they just use a salt brine for the pickled mango. Let's taste it. I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised by this one too. And the reason for that is because it's not really sweet. It's not spicy. And it's a little, I, I don't wanna say flavorless because that makes it sound like it's uninteresting because it is interesting, but it doesn't have that overwhelming guava taste. And what I mean is like when you drink guava juice, my issue with guava is sometimes it could just be a little too much, just overwhelming with that guava flavor. This doesn't have that. And the guava, whenever you eat guava fruit, it's always been ripe and it's been very soft. This guava um, is very hard. So this is definitely a fresh guava. Like the mango, it's, uh, it's an early guava. Uh, it's very, a little sour. Like I said, not very sweet. You can taste a little bit of um, 
and like that pickly vinegar taste with this one, but it is good. It does go well with the guava. This would go really well with um, uh, some fish too. And um, hmm. I mean, it's good by itself. I'm definitely enjoying this just by itself. I'm trying to see what this would pair well with. Maybe like an avocado salsa, this one as well. Um, that would be pretty good. But overall, pleasantly surprised. Wasn't sure I was gonna like this one just because sometimes I don't like guava and when you pickle things, it can go horribly wrong. But um, this is really good. If I had to pick one, I would probably go with the mango just because I really like that spiciness. And I just think this would be so perfect with some white fish. But, um, but this is really good too. It's really interesting, not spicy, not too sweet, not really, actually not really sweet at all. It's a nice, interesting flavor. And um, yeah, I enjoyed it. So I'll, I'll definitely be eating, uh, finishing this and we'll definitely be buying this one again. Can't stress that enough. All right, so we had the, uh, the pickled fruit. I'm gonna cleanse my palate again. All right. Now, go try some chippy chips. Jack and Jill, garlic and vinegar. Chippy chips. Fuck. Oh, tear here. God, I've just been having such a difficult time opening these packages. I think one of these days I'm going to die from a mouth breathing accident. All right. Um, so they look like uh, little corn chips. Okay. Um. They're okay. Chippy chips, I'm just gonna say this. I think I've had enough of them by now to know my opinion on them. They're they're okay. Pretty good corn chips, but they're honestly lacking a bit of flavor. Um, when I see garlic and vinegar, I think of like kettle chips. When you have those uh, like salt and vinegar chips, really packed with flavor. And every chip you have, it's just bam, just a burst of that saltiness and vinegar. And with this, it just kind of tastes like a corn chip with just like a little bit of seasoning. It's not bad. I mean, they're pretty good. Someone gave these to me as a, and I was really hungry. I would eat them and be grateful for them, but I wouldn't go out of my way to choose 
chippy chips. I know these come in different flavors. They have like barbecue, cheese, but um, I don't really know. Uh, I mean, like I'll try them because you don't know if, if once until you try. But garlic and vinegar, those are strong flavors. I'm not if I'm not getting strong flavors from garlic and vinegar corn chips, I doubt that they'll have strong flavors with the barbecue or the cheese flavored corn chips. So if you want mild flavor and if you just want to taste that corn chip mostly, then you'll like these a lot. But if you're like me and you really want that garlic and vinegar flavor to pack a punch, you're not going to be impressed. So. Chippy chips. All righty, guys. Well, that is my review for the day. I am going to do a couple more uh, reviews on uh, Filipino brands because I still have some more snacks to try. So uh, please um, watch those videos, and I'll be posting them soon. And until next time.